So here are the instructions in how to make Visual Studio uh, to make a small, how using Visual Studio you can do a small program that will play a bit of music, a bit of sound on your sound card. So I'll start by generating myself a new project and this will be Windows 32 console application. Uh, the name of the project will be uh, Hello Sound API. Um, this will be a Windows Console application, and I want an empty project. That's it. So first things is to go and create the, the main source file, which will be a new item. It will be a C file and I will name it main C. The name will make it a regular C file and not a C++ file. I have copied a piece of code that I will paste into this. Control V, and this is the code I'll upload it to the page. This is the code that will play a bit of sinus on the output of my card. Looking at the code right now, I can see a lot of red underlines, uh, amongst other things, and include something called bash.h which apparently is not there. So I need to get all these bash resources included into my uh, into my Visual Studio project. The thing, the, the way to do this is to go and find the actual files. So what I did is I put them on my desktop in this directory, this folder. Uh, so what I need is I need the bash dll file and in the C directory I need the, the bash.h file and control the bash.lib. So these two files, I'll copy them. Start by taking these two files, I'll copy them and put them in the directory where I have my uh, Visual Studio solution. So I'll have to find my Visual Studio solution, so that will be something like uh, going into my documents, no it's not right, it's actually in C slash users slash and something like this it's not exactly this one but projects and this one is the one this is the directory I just created so here in this directory just beside my main C file I will put the two recently copied files bash.h and bash.lib so now I just uh, still need to put in the bash.dll file which will be like one up from here bash.dll this file copy it and drag it down to this copy So this file bash.dll, this file bash.h, and this file bash.lib is copied from my bash directory. And then back to my, uh, my nice Visual Studio uh, system. Uh, so here I have to make them known to the system so it goes like go into the pr 
project and right click and I have to add some of these uh, files as items. These are existing items and if they will be it will be this one and control this one and control this one. So these files I want to add. So pressing add should do the trick. And what happens is that the bash.h file is recognized as a header file and the two others bash.dll bash.lib are recognized as files that con is connected to the project. Now I lost my uh, red lines under, under a lot of these uh, functions so it should be possible to run this uh, program now. Click the start debugging. Do we want to build? Yes please. Build, build, build. And it goes. So this should be possible for you as well, uh, over and out.